welcome to my youtube channel okay this is chamba jacob for you to answer this question you need the following the graph paper um the pencil the rubber the ruler so these are some of the things that you basically need in order for you to answer a cubic function question all right so with me here okay i have a question with me here uh, okay the values of x and y are connected by the equation y is equal to uh, 2x cubed minus 3x squared plus 5 some corresponding values of x and y are given in the table below so this is a table and we've been asked to calculate the value of p this is a p we're talking about so we need to find the value of p here so how do you find the value of p okay remember they have said answer this part of the question on a sheet of graph paper so you need to use your graph paper here is my graph paper and first thing first i like copying the the table value you copy the table value this is the same as this so you copy and after copying there you answer question one where you ask to calculate the value of p so for question one in order for us to find the value of p we need to copy the the equation the way it is so you copy on your graph paper so this is our equation i've just copied from here and put it on my graph paper so if you can see nicely on top here we have the x values and down here the y values so in order for us to find the value of p why can't we just put this this number here which is on top negative 2 where x is in the equation so in other ways we say you get the x value and put it in the equation you find the value of p so this is our y 2 where there is a where there is a x you put negative 2 there power 3 minus 3 negative 2 power 2 plus 5 so you see the way it looks looks good i've just got in what is here and put put where x is in short you replace after that you solve so when you solve you work out this you find that the answer is uh, negative 23 let me show you on a, a calculator on the calculator the way we do it <clears throat> here is my calculator hopefully you'll be able to see what i'm punching here let me put it like this so that you can see so okay there is two open bracket negative x power three minus three open bracket negative two x squared plus five so if you can see uh what is on um uh, what is on the calculator here it's just the same as what is here i've just punched everything that is here and then i press it gives me uh, okay that's the negative 23 so the value of y is negative 23 which is p is equal to negative 23 we're done with the question a that's two marks is it one why one mark so after answering question number one you go to two where they're saying using a scale of four centimeters to represent one unit when the x-axis four negative uh, two is less or equal to x and x is less or equal to two and two centimeters to represent five units on the y-axis four negative five uh, i mean negative 25 is less or equal to y and less or equal to 10. draw the graph of y is equal to 2x cubed minus 3x squared plus 5. so this is the same thing if you can see nicely here this and this are just the same so what you do here you follow the scale you make your cartesian you can make your cartesian plane right here this is our x or y plane I like saying Cartesian plane, it's a Cartesian plane, or you can say X or Y plane, just the same. And this is our X axis. Okay. 
these are x-axis and y-axis over there so this is zero here it's five and ten here it's uh, a negative five negative ten negative uh, 15 negative 20 and negative 25 down here so hopefully you're able to see what is happening here I'm following the scale we're being given the scale here five units to represent uh, I mean five uh, I mean two centimeters to represent five units on the y-axis so two centimeters this box one box is two centimeters so from here to here is two centimeters so it's five ten it's moving in fives that's why they've given us five in this one in uh, y-axis and under x-axis they have said four centimeters to represent one unit so since one box is two centimeters two boxes is uh four centimeters so we put one here and then two here negative one negative two following the, st the statement they have said it's four centimeters so four centimeters is two boxes now from here we we can we can we, we can plot the coordinates we know that p is 23 negative 23 so we'll go to uh two here comma i mean negative two comma negative 23 23 is down here if you can see here there is a uh, three okay i mean 20 sorry 20 so 21 22 23 i'm skipping one line it's over here and then we go to point and negative point i mean negative 1.5 this is one so if this is one and negative one and negative two is here so in between it's 1.5 and then we go down this is five so six must be here seven eight eight point five it's here from there if you go to negative one comma zero it's here okay next you go to negative uh, zero point five comma four this is five so um, zero this is zero and this is one in between that's where zero point five negative zero point five is and then this is five so down here somewhere here that's where uh four is because this is one two three four yeah that's where four is and then we go to zero comma five it's here we go to what what else what else zero comma five we go to zero point five comma four point five this is zero one here zero point five somewhere here four it's here 0.5 is here so 4.5 is here then we go to 1 comma 4 this is 1 and then our 4 is somewhere here we go to 1.5 1.5 is between uh, 1 and, 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 and 2 so 1.5 comma 5 it's here and then thereafter we go to 2 comma 9 2 comma 9 this is 10 2 is over here 10 is here here this is 9 so it's here so we can see our coordinates and then we we can draw our graph nice looking graph this is our graph like this here so this is our graph actually it's not properly done here the joining is not properly done here I need to do the perfect one and here it's not properly done so the joining should be perfect sorry I dropped my camera okay follow me nicely all right so it should be like this here
Did I miss here? Yeah, I did. Yeah, my graph is out. Hopefully, you're able to see nicely. That's my graph. So we have answered question two, and then we go to question three using your, I mean, use your graph to solve, to solve the, to solve the, the equation two x cubed minus three x squared plus five is equal to x. So how do you use this? All right, very simple. You just check what is here. It's a, uh, we'll say it's a. Uh, y is equal to x so this is z y is equal to x if you are following nicely this is y is equal to x this everything here in front you put y and here you put x the way it is in short you just make what is here is equal to y like i've done here y is equal to x so you make or you you draw this this uh this line it's a line how would it look like? Let me make a table value here. So this is x, y. So this is 0, 2. When x is equal to 0, what is y? It's 0. When x is equal to 2, what is y? It's 2. So those are the coordinates I will use. 0, 0, it's here. This one. And then 2, 2, it's... Uh, this is 2. And then 2. This is 1, 2. It's here, I think. Yeah. 1, 2, yeah, it's here. So this is a needed graph, I mean the needed uh, coordinates, or oh, these are the needed coordinates. So we put them, I mean we join. Alright, so this is a line, y is equal to x, it's a line. So now you check, where is it cutting the, the graph? It's cutting the graph somewhere here at one point, one point, if this is one, a negative one, what is this one? What is this? That's the value we want. So we know that uh, each uh, each line is 0 0.05. So all these small lines go in the x-axis. They are 0 0.05. And we know that this is uh, negative 1. And then there are 2 here. So... So this is 0 0.1, two of them they're making 0 0.1. So here it will be, let me write it like this, it's question what, question uh, three. So question three, x is equal to negative 1.1. It's only one answer, which is there. So we have answered that one. We go to the other one and this other one, we estimate like uh, calculate an estimate of the gradient of the curve at the point x is equal to 1.5 so x is equal to 1.5 where is it x is equal to 1.5 this is 1 1.5 it's here so you you make a tangent line so we are estimating so you make a tangent line so once you make that tangent line, you make sure that this line touches only that point. It touches the point you're talking about. So you can now use the, the formula for finding the gradient. The one you say y sub 2, y sub 1 over x sub 1 minus x sub 2. I mean over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So this that's it. And then you pick the coordinates where it's passing. It's um, and it's like this. This is where it's passing here. So here x is 1.5 and then y is it? 5. This is 5. It looks like 6. It's 5. And then you can pick any other coordinates where this tangent line passes. So I'll pick, I'll pick this one here. I'll say x is equal to negative 1, and then y is equal to, this is 9 point, negative 9.5, point, point that's my y. 
and then you try to solve so this will be our x1 y1 and this is our x2 y2 so here x2 is i mean y2 is negative 9.5 minus uh, y1 which is 5 over x2 is negative 1 minus x1 it's negative i mean it's 5 sorry 1 1 point five thereafter you solve when you work out your calculation calculations nicely negative nine point five minus five it's uh it's negative uh okay, negative nine point five minus five is uh four negative fourteen point five over here it will be negative 2.5 so when you divide there you get when you divide you get uh, positive uh, positive 5 positive 5 i mean 5.8 this is our gradient so for number 4 number 4 you can say the gradient is 5.5. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to follow or send the questions. In case you have a question, send it to me. Next time I'll be answering the question where, um, uh, where I also ask to find the area area of the bounded uh, of the region bounded by the cave. Thank you very much.